with your blessing once again, with the elders' blessing, I'd like to delve into some history and context for a minute. Is that okay with y'all? Okay. So, Maurice White was born in Memphis, Tennessee, segregated south in 1941, less than two weeks from the attack on Pearl Harbor. Parallel to that, before joining the civil rights movement that would inspire Earth, Wind & Fire and other groups like that, a heroic young man named Medgar Evers was a member of the United States Army. He fought in the European theater and the Battle of Normandy. He was honorably discharged as a sergeant. Sergeant Medgar Evers fought abroad for freedoms he didn't even have at home. How patriotic do you have to be to do that? After the war, he became the NAACP's first field secretary in the state of Mississippi, which was a hotbed for hatred and racism and hangings and murders and lynchings and mayhem. But Medgar Evers was not deterred. He organized boycotts, he opposed segregation, and he was instrumental in helping James Meredith become the first African-American student at the University of Mississippi in 1962. Then, on June 12th, 1963, only hours after President John F. Kennedy delivered a speech in support of civil rights on national television, Medgar Evers was shot in the back by a cowardly bigot. He was rushed to the hospital, local hospital, where he was denied entrance because of his color until they finally realized who he was. But those minutes proved precious because this veteran and member of what many call the greatest generation died 50 minutes later. Sergeant Medgar Evers survived World War II only to be killed in his own driveway. Shortly after his murder, it was a voter registration drive in Greenwood, Mississippi, where a young man named Bob Dylan sang a song to honor the fallen hero. But he also explored a very unique angle regarding race in America. Only a pawn in their game is one of the most poignant songs in American history, in my opinion. And here to interpret this timeless classic, accompanied by Ross Kente, please welcome my friend, the phenomenal Miss Allison Lewis. From the back of a bush Took Medgar Evers' blood A finger fired the trigger to his name Handle it out in the dark Hand set the spark Two eyes took the aim Behind a man's brain But it ain't him to blame Politicians gain as he rises to fame, and the poor white remains on the caboose of a train. But it ain't him to blame. It's only a pawn in their game. The deputy sheriffs, soldiers, senators. Get paid, and the marshals and the cops get the same. He's taught in his school 
from the star by the room that the laws are with him to protect his white skin to keep up his fate so he never thinks straight about the shape that he's in but it ain't him to blame his only part in their game Poverty shacks, he looks from the cracks to the tracks. And the hoof beats pound in his brain. He's taught how to walk in a pack, shoot in the back with his fist in a clinch, hanging to lynch, to hide neath the hood, to kill with no pain. Like a dog on a chain, he ain't got no name, but it ain't him to blame. It's only part in their game. Today, Medgar Evers was buried from the bullet he caught. They lowered him down as a king. But when the shadowy sun sets on the one who fired the gun, you see by his grave on the stone that remains, carved by his name, the epitaph is plain. But it ain't him to blame. Only upon 